Hello, everybody. A little bit of snow and ice here the last couple days. But I thought you guys would like to see the changes in my photography vehicle. What I've done to it in the last couple of weeks to make it more suited for my photography needs, for the workshops that I teach, for the clients that I take with me, things like that. So come along with me as I go through the changes that I've done on my truck to make it more suitable for all of my photography needs. We'll do that right after this. Uh, we're back. It's a little chilly today. Maybe about uh, 14 degrees or so. You may be wondering if I ever wear pants. Uh, my standard has always been minus 25 degrees centigrade. It's getting pretty close to that because it's 14 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm not sure what that translates to centigrade but it's got to be getting pretty close. So I think it's time to break out the long pants. I've had my truck for about five weeks now, and in the last five weeks, uh, I've had a total of 15 days that I've taken clients out in order to see the park. So I've gotten a fairly good chance to be able to see what works and what doesn't work, what additions I needed to add to my truck, and what things were more convenient and what wasn't working and what I needed to take out. So one of the first things I did was get a soft topper for the back of the truck. The toenail cover really wasn't working. It didn't have enough space. And so we'll go over that. And then once we're done with that, we'll come back here to the inside of the truck and look at some of the changes I've done in here. The most notable change that you'll see with the truck is the installation of a soft topper. This is a canvas top that's made for the Chevy Colorado by a company called Soft Topper. And I had originally planned on purchasing a hard shell cab like a Lear or an ARE cab, but those are priced at about $2,500 or so. And at the current time, I just didn't have the finances to do that. But I still needed something to be able to cover the back of my truck. I had tried the tonnel cover thing but that really didn't give me enough room uh, on my truck to be able to sleep inside or to even store equipment. I noticed when I had clients that I took out on workshops that the toenail cover was so tight on top of their camera bags with the shelving system that I had built inside that it really wasn't working very well. So I ordered this soft topper. Now this canvas cover does have the ability to unbutton along the side and to roll up, you know, something like a military type style with just the canvas on top and to open all the way around. But that's not something that I plan on doing. For me, just having a cover over the top is what I need. I need a place to sleep. I need a place to store equipment. I need a place that's somewhat secure and this kind of serves that need. Let's take a look at the soft topper by taking a walk around. So as you can see, it fits pretty well on the back of the truck. This is the rear of the truck. And as we go around to the passenger side, 
it looks about like the driver's side does. So the back side is pretty easy to open up. It has two zippers on either side. And then some Velcro along the bottom. And it can roll up and attach on the top like that. You can see the inside of the van now is nice and clean and orderly. There's all of my supplies are over here on one side of the van. I have them bungee corded over so that they don't fly around. The other side is open to be able to put tripods and camera bags and various things like that. When I have clients or I'm out on my own, I have some extra bungee straps, those red straps over there on the passenger side to be able to use anytime I take clients out. When I want to sleep in the back of my truck, I have a foam pad that I can uh, expand out. And now I also have one of these sleep and go inflatable pads and I have a Trekology inflatable pillow. And those two things added to this pad make it nice and comfortable for sleeping. And then I have a couple of blankets that I'm able to put in here, cover myself up and I can stay nice and warm down to about minus 20 or so. When it gets down below that, then uh, I need a couple more blankets and I need to get serious about staying warm. So that kind of covers the back of my soft topper and how I use it. I've already covered the drawers, how I made those. I'll link a video up here. And I also covered what I store in my drawers and I'll link that video up here too. So uh, now let's go inside the truck and see the changes I've made there. Okay, on the inside of my truck, one of the first changes I did was to get a pad to sit on. This is just a regular pad to uh, raise my carcass up a little taller. I'm five foot two, and so uh, I can see over the steering wheel, but the pad helps me to see over the top of the hood a little bit better. And I have ordered some running boards and some uh, floor mats, but they haven't come in yet, so we'll cover those at a later date. Another thing I have for my truck is this little tray that goes into my center console, and that helps to separate some of the smaller items from the larger items. And another thing I found to be very useful is what they call a seat belt extender. A lot of times when you're traveling really slow in the vehicle, you want to be able to take your seat belt off so that you can photograph animals and stuff. And you don't want to hear the beep, beep, beep that the uh, stupid security system does all the time. So by plugging in this seat belt extender, it turns off that beep, beep, beep sound but you can still plug your seat belt in to the other end. These things cost about eight to ten dollars a piece and they're invaluable. Another thing I store in my truck is something to help people who wear eyeglasses, especially when it's cold outside we have a tremendous problem with fogging of our eyeglasses. So I have some stuff called cat crap and that helps to prevent the fogging of the eyeglasses. I'm also carrying a pair of nail clippers or toenail clippers along because I noticed on one of my trips that uh, one of my clients got uh, a little crack in his, his fingernail and he needed to trim them. So that covers what I carry in my central column. Another thing I carry in my car is a selection of cables to be able to hook up cell phones 
either the Android type or the iPhone type. Sometimes clients forget to bring their cables and it's very convenient for them to be able to charge their phones while they're out doing their photography and stuff. This way they don't have to worry about their phones going dead. Another thing I carry is a battery charger to be able to have fresh batteries available at all times. I keep this right next to the center console. That way I can change my batteries first thing in the morning, put the old batteries in to charge. I always have nice fresh batteries to be able to stick in my camera. If I have a client that happens to have Canon type equipment, 5D, EOS R, EOS R5, R6, uses all these same batteries and I have batteries available so that they can use them also. Also, I keep in the car fresh water. I have a cooler in the back that I have water in and I find that the clients after four or five hours really need a drink of water and so I have that here and available for them. In the back of the cab, I have the ability to make coffee on the road. So if I have a client who really needs to have a pick me up while they're out photographing, I can grab the coffee pot and the stove, heat them up some coffee, percolate a little bit of it, pour it out, have it for them so they're ready as soon as they come back to the cab to have a nice cup of coffee. That kind of covers the changes we've made to the truck so far. Once we get the floorboards and the running boards installed and a couple more modifications, we'll come back and do that do another updated video. I thank you for joining us and if you would hit the like icon, consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you again next time. Thank you so much for joining us.